right well. As soon as there hasn't been a fish out of uh, K1 for a little while, and I've spent the last five and a half hours walking around it, and I haven't seen a single fish, I've decided to do a night on the boat pool, which I've never fished before in my life. Um, <coughs> and I'm going to fish here, which is called the concrete, for obvious reasons. Now normally I'd be a rods up first sort of guy, but <laughs> I'm not sure quite how achievable the bivvy's going to be on this, so I'm going to make sure I can actually get it up first. I'm intending to utilise this crack to wangle in some sort of polage, and uh, maybe one of these scaffold poles for the other side. Won't be needing the ground sheet anyway, ain't no mud coming up here. And then I'm going to fish under this bigger, big overhanging tree. It's only a margin swim, this, because it swims on that side and that side of the lake, so you only get the edge, but that's all I want. There's another little snag tree around the corner, so I'm just going to sort of drop it in the edge. See how we get on, but first of all, we're going to make sure that it's achievable. There's plenty of these laying about, which I assume are here where people have done the same before me, so... Here goes nothing. Well, I think all in all, done quite well there. Got a bivvy up. They needed to cut bricks. We're a little close to the water's edge. <laughs> and I've had to utilise dog lead out the back of the motor. A belt off my trousers. Two, three pegs in. Maddie's leash all clipped on. Yes. Round the scaffold pole, that's round the scaffold pole. I reckon that's pretty damn solid, which is handy because they've forecast, um, oh, wrong way. They've forecast 53 mile an hour winds tonight, coming from that way straight into my side tonight or tomorrow one or the other so at the moment I've sort of set up into the wind but they assured me it's going very very strong southerly later that's all right isn't it sort of a house what could possibly go wrong now what I've got to figure out is the rods it's a good job I've got one of them pod things with me well, I might need something like that to weigh it down with to be honest right stage two there we go Stage two of the operation. Oh, we've got Mr. Robin coming to inspect it. What do you reckon, mate? Not a lot. Like my counterweight. Perfect, eh? I reckon that'll do the trick. Looks quite solid. So, you may have to indulge me, um, I'm seeing what my phone can do, or rather, more to the point, my son Connor came round for a couple of days and showed me what my phone can do, um, and apparently it can do time-lapse video. So here is my very first attempt, uh, the rods are all out, I've got nothing to do but sit and wait, so I'm attempting to do a time-lapse of the sunset. I should really have some groovy music over the background I suppose. But all you've got is me blabbering on. I remember when I fished here originally over the road on Horton sort of 28 years ago I used to turn up with a plastic bag full of two peas and ten peas, my diary um, for my Artex work and walk over the phone box in the evenings. Uh, nowadays not only do I have a phone that I can phone people on, I've got a phone that can film the sun going down, speed it up and make it all look glorious. Glorious-ish not exactly spectacular I know but it's my first attempt and I'm pleased with it and there she goes and that's us all settled in for the night waiting for Mr Carp well everything's as set as it's going to be Last knockings for daylight.
knackered this last knock-ins by the amount of planes they're trying to cram in. Wonder if we're going to get a little tickle. So I still can't make up my mind whether I should actually be sat over here or still trying over the road. It's nice to have changed scenery. There's enough lakes here. You know what's on the cover all ticket? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six or seven, I think. Mean. I said before, I never fished this one before, so who knows? Well, it's first thing in the morning. And I've just had a complete redo of everything. Um, I didn't catch in the night, and I think I might have made a schoolboy error. Because um, I've been fishing over the road, and it's winter, and I like a bit of maggot in the winter. I've been using maggots, maggot bags. I think there might be an awful lot of small fish in here, as in silvers. I had a few beeps on each rod, just a bit in the night, nothing major. And this morning I thought I've got to check one, and I brought it in. <laughs> and the component parts of my rig were cleaner than when I got them out of the packets to make the rigs in the first place. I'd been absolutely stripped, so I think I might have been fishing baitless. So I've hastily tied up uh, a couple of PVA bags and just dropped them out there with one, one sort of handful of bait over the top just hoping that I haven't completely missed all bite times fishing with nothing on the hooks what a muppet I've been fishing maggots next door and winding in in the morning if I haven't had a bite and uh, they've been, as I cast them out, still got four or five maggots on the little ring I make. Rigs have been perfect, but they were literally spotless. There's one. Come on, focus. again and you know when you, your maggots are actually getting taken off the hook that all your free offerings have gone bugger 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 oh well they're back out there now hopefully there's still a chance Well, I've been for a wander around the complex. Um, I've even had a chuck about with my Echo, uh, floating that about, seeing if I could ping up some fish somewhere, but <coughs> not found an awful lot, to be honest. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is stay put on the concrete slab um, and hope for a bite. I think it's probably my best option, to be honest. There's a load of weather forecast for later on. Uh, this evening and the night, big winds, load of rain, it's all coming this way. Um, so, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm tied to a load of concrete, scattered poles and god knows what else. So, I'm certainly not blowing away. Uh, I've got no mud because it's all concrete. So, yeah, I'm here now. So, I'm just going to put them out, put maggot bags out. 
rubbish bits and pieces at the bottom down there under that overhanging tree. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, we'll catch a carp. Lack of other options, I think this is the best plan. Get them all redone, new rigs, get settled in, read the book, wait for the carp to come. That's the plan. As you can uh, hear, it was <laughs> slightly windy and the microphone was straight in the wind so I've had to do another voiceover because you can't hear a single word I said. Um, and I must apologise for, as you'll see in a minute, the uh, not exactly clever focusing but like I say it was 6 o'clock in the evening, it was horrendous conditions and I chucked my camera up there and obviously forgot to check the settings. Uh, and probably had it on manual focus rather than auto but there you go the end result was the same I caught myself a 24 pound common the first fish I've had for ages it seems and I was over the moon with it had it close in on the maggots I had a proper fight out of it in the edge ploughed about all over the place um, yeah I was well chuffed uh, drenched obviously cold wet but happy Lovely fish. Shame he's out of focus, but there you go. Right, moving on. So there we have it. A couple of days on a new pond, and we've got a fish in the bag. Was hoping for another one this morning, but it's not looking very lively. Mr. Robin's having fun with all my maggot explosions. Maggots crawling about all over the concrete. various PVA disasters. It's not my favourite method. But it's caught me a fish. In the middle of December. I'm happy with that. Had all sorts of weather. Lovely cold bright morning this morning. Had the howling rain and wind last night. Big westerly, big southerly, and calm periods in between. Look at that up there. Apparently, there's a load more wind and rain coming in tomorrow, but I'll be at home by then. In fact, I'll be at home in a couple of hours' time. I'm just about to pack up and do one. nice to feel the flesh of carp again. I think next week I'll be <coughs> back on my main lake next door. Back on K1. Just hope they decide to start feeding. Well, everything's loaded in the motor. I thought I'd make myself Nice cup of tea for the journey home. Seeing as I have all this at my disposal, right behind my swim. Look at that. Wouldn't mind a kitchen like that at home. Horton Lodge. Big old TV. Lovely sofas. Wouldn't mind them at home either, to be honest. Leather, pool table, dartboard, everything. Even got fish to look at. Look at that. The old Hall of Fame, all the way around. This is the old wall. Bill Thompson. Wee Bed Willy, Dale Smith, 
Frogger. Little Robbie, wood carving back in the day. Yeah, look at that. Yours truly, and Fat Sam. We starburst about 27 years ago. Hey, no need for camo back then, was there? Me with Moonscale at 38. Old mate, Jenks with the parrot. CP up the top there. Well, I can't reach that far. Yo, CP with CPs. Jill got. And many, many more. Who we got up there? Don't know, he's just getting a bit newer. No more Adele boy. There's the front covers. Decibel look. I remember when he caught that, he poached that out of my swim. Good angling. Big cast from the other side. There's the church out there, Church Lake. You can just see the actual church behind that tree. Ooh, never do the finger thing about there somewhere. Hiding that. Good old times we had in here. The lodge wasn't quite like this then, no, it was uh, more of a shed. Well, it was big like this. This is still it. It's just been renovated to a much higher standard than what we were used to back in the day. Right, anyway, kettle's boiled, can make a cup of tea and then do one. So, from Horton Lodge, tad off and out.